Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. And today we're going to be testing um, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It was the latest patch in the uh, Windows 2004 version, and the latest NVIDIA driver now enables it. So I'm not too sure what it's supposed to do. From what I've read, it just transfers the scheduling over from Windows so the graphics card can do it itself. Um, it's supposed to reduce latency, um, supposed to increase frame rates. Well, guess we'll find out. Today I'm going to be testing a two systems, uh, 9900KS 5.2 gigahertz with a 2080 Ti. We're going to do before and after benchmarks, and then we're going to do all the same suite of games, and we're going to test a 4790K quad core. Uh, 4.8 gigahertz with a 2070 super so I'm hoping we'll get to see if any difference between mid-range uh, hardware and high-end hardware to see if there's any actually any actual value in updating your windows and going through all this when I um, one little note before we start uh, I couldn't even update my windows to 2004 I had to actually do a fresh install on my main rig because they gave me some uh, error saying that I had some settings that weren't transferable. I'm not sure what it was talking about. But um, yeah, let's just find out if this actually even does anything. Um, let's get on with the testing. Alright, so uh, those are the results. What um, information can we extract from this? Um, the only two games that had a repeatable difference were Warzone and PUBG. Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance did have a difference, um, and it was repeatable, but it was only about 4 or 5 FPS, so... Eh, I'm not sure, but it was repeatable, so it is there. But what relation do these games have? And so I also did the uh, 4790K benchmarks as well, but I'm not going to bother with those. Um, the numbers were the exact same. In, even in Warzone, um, PUBG had about a 4 FPS difference, but for the most part it made absolutely no difference on the 4790K, the, um, the quad core. So... What I theorize about this new patch is games that are mainly CPU bound, uh, Battle Royales uh, specifically in this case, and um, Kingdom Come is just like an extremely poorly optimized CPU intensive, Just it's just a weird engine for that game. I think that's why it makes a difference for that one. But... Um, yeah, any CPU intensive game where the processor can actually draw more calls from the game engine will see a benefit. Um, so when you have the the 4790K, uh, the quad core, it's not going to be able to scale as well in those large um, battle royale games. It's only going to be able to call so many like like instructions from the game whereas the 9900 ks maxed out to the tits that one's going to draw as many frames as you can throw at it so the fact that the scheduler is now 
internalized into the GPU, it can actually give the CPU more frames to to draw, you know what I mean? Um, that's my take on this whole experiment. It was really interesting. It's it's interesting that it works better on higher end hardware. And I'm not sure if it's clock speed bound, maybe latency, or maybe just how well the game scales across more cores. Um, perhaps a more multi-threaded game. Actually, well, no, that can't be true because uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider saw no difference whatsoever. And that game scales crazily with um, core count. So if you have uh, an 8700K, 9900K, something uh, recent that can really pull a lot of frames, and you play Warzone or PUBG, the patch is definitely worth doing. Uh, 100%. Go reinstall your Windows. Um, if you have, I guess, a quad core or something that can struggles to hit 240 FPS on the regular, then maybe just skip this one and just wait. Make it better. Make it more optimized later down the road. We'll find out. But um, I know for me, playing Warzone, this is this is going on my computer and my wife's computer, 100%. Well, uh, yeah, those are my findings. When the when the Ryzen 4000 series comes out, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, come back and test that. Um, as of right now, the 3000 series can't really push as high of a frame rate as the uh, Intel systems. So I would assume I could be wrong. Someone else have to. I don't have a um, uh, eight core or sixteen core uh, AMD. But um, I would assume that you wouldn't get the same amount of scaling just because the AMD CPUs can't draw as many frames from a game engine as the Intel systems can. So what do you guys think? Uh, comment down below what your theories are on this if you've tested it. Um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. The hardest part about uh, a new YouTube channel is just that first 1,000 subscribers. And I love, I love doing this kind of work, and I hope to do more of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the content, and I'll see you later.